again, that's Dr. Pikachu here. So, today we're going to be doing my first ever battle video on my channel. Um, I'll just be bursting with my friends, but I'm using one of the best double battle strategies I've ever come up with. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. He has Gallade, Rayquaza, Octillery, um, Flygon, Jolteon, and Haxorus. So, right now I'm selecting my team. First up, I'm throwing out Galvantula and Jolteon. So, um, first up, Jol Jolteon and Galvantula are sort of like a tank strategy. They're supposed to, well, not like a tank, I guess, but. More or less, really a powerful first starting Pokemon. Jolteon is has the ability Volt Absorb, and Galvantula has Discharge. So whenever Galvantula uses Discharge, Jolteon will get healed. But first up, he has a Jolteon out, so I think I'm gonna just start with setting up. Uh, Jolteon used Dig, and Galvantula used Double Team. Eventually, using double team races in basic mass, which will get, let it be out longer. Jolteon doesn't have, um, well, any invasive raising moves, but actually, it might be a good idea if you did. If you're planning on using this strategy, ooh, okay, you might want to. So, eventually, we'll just keep using double team, and Jolteon will now come up on his Jolteon. And I didn't take it out yet, though. Alright, double team. Hopefully, its next attack will miss, thanks to invasiveness. And, yep, miss. And Dragon Claw. So you second jump again, okay. Oh my, okay. Um, you might want to do it now. So, he's a discharge this turn. And, I use Thunder on Haxorus. Yep, Thunder. There we go. Okay. And Discharge. Alright, Volt Absorb. And yeah, it has Volt Absorb. Okay, so we're both get healed there. That doesn't do terribly much to Hexers, but anything helps, I guess. And Dragon Pulse. Okay, so. Oh, he broke Banshee, and that's still pretty good. Okay, so that strategy didn't work the best. Alright, so let's just keep moving. Alright, next up we have Kangaskhan coming out. It's going to Mega Evolve and use Power Up Punch. When he uses Power Up Punch, his attack gets raised by a ton. So, with that, since Jolteon's still out, I'll have him use Wild Charge. And then next turn I can use Last Resort. So it does its four moves. Dig, Thunder, Wild Charge, and Last Resort. So pretty good moves for a Jolteon setup. And then I have King that's going over here with Power Up Punch. And there's Wild Charge on it. Okay, a little bit of damage. Oh, um, my King is gone has the ability Scrappy. So this uh, strategy will work on any Pokemon, including Ghost type. Alright, there's Power Up Punch, and here's the second, here's the second one. Alright, it's almost down, it's attack raised by a lot. Alright, so we'll use that one more time to take out Jolteon. And we'll have my Jolteon use last resort on Haxorus. Alright, Jolteon, come on in, just hang in there. This is the fastest thing on the field. Yes! Alright. There goes Haxorus. And... Oh, he doesn't know I'm not. Okay. Uh, okay, good. So let's power up punch now. Alright. So there's good attack. 
So, alright, so Kingdom's Gun has really good attack now. Yeah, I'm not sure if I want to switch or not. Okay, I'm gonna keep Kangas Khan and Jolteon both out. Um, I'm not sure if this is a good idea, but if... Okay, good. So... Okay, so... With Jolteon out, he can now continue to use last year's alerts. And... With Kangas Khan... Um, I can throw out Sneasel later, and Sneasel can use Psych Up to get Klingus Khan's stat changes. Right now I'm just keeping Jolteon out, to see if I can do the most damage as I can with it. I have barely any HP though, so if I ever do throw him back out, it's not going to do anything. Wait. Oh. Wait. Okay, Mega Rayquaza. I figured he would do Mega Delayed. There's only one flying to take on the field. Why? Oh. Okay. Okay. Alright, and there's Outrage. Oh! Wow. I wasn't expecting that to see. Also, I was hoping I would hit Rekwaza. Alright, um, please go for Jolteon, please go for Jolteon, please go for Jolteon. No! Ah! Uh, okay. And that strategy is not working very well either. From what I'm telling you guys, this, this is how the strategy is supposed to work. But it's not working entirely how I want it to. Yeah, as you can probably tell. <laughs> so... Alright, let's throw out Sneasel. Sneasel is supposed to be like my stat change Pokemon. It's supposed to gain the snap stats from um King's Gun. I'm a little bit upset that it doesn't now, but all in all it works out pretty good. So let's see. Metal Claw on Flygon and Thunder on Rayquaza. Yeah, <sighs> stop dodging. Okay, that didn't happen. <laughs> and who's it going for? Who you going for? Sneasel. Oh my. Okay, thank you, Focus Slash. With defense and special defense, bro. If I can just hit fun oh, come on. Seriously. If I can just hit Thunder. Or, maybe I should just hit Eruption from my Typhlosion. Okay, you can use any Pokemon to take this place of Typhlosion. Any Pokemon that has really good attack, at least. You're gonna want something that, like... And po this is supposed to be the Pokemon that your opponent's supposed to be afraid of. Ty like, Typhlosion here. Typhlosion, honestly, is just one of my favorite Pokemon also. And, okay. And one of my strongest. This is the one that I told you guys about from Johto. Interruption. Okay, that didn't do as much as I was hoping. Oh, oh, come on. Okay, he may have, have a better strategy than I do. Bro. Try Rock Tomb on Rayquaza, and Drain Punch on Flygon. Oh, okay. Go, it goes with speed, and try to sense. I'm gonna guess that's going on Typhlosion. Nope, that one. Uh, no. Did it fit? Yeah, come on, I don't fade it. And this is going to be the end of the battle. Okay. So, uh, great. 
Okay guys, so we are trying this again, and we both changed our team up some. He now has Wall Rain, um, Talonflame, and Zorark on his team, replacing whatever other three he had there, and at the bottom you can see my team. I added Kyogre and Lantern. Favorite takes place Typhlosion, because I said any fucking one I could, as long as it's a really good tank. And Lantern takes the place of Galvantula. So first up, I'm throwing out Jolteon and Lantern. So now I have the rest ready. And confirm. Okay, let's get into this. Okay. Okay, so Lantern doesn't have any basic incision there, so it doesn't it does not know double team. And I could have cut the double team, but I didn't so, yeah. so right now I'm just gonna use some tap. So Thunder on the Quasar Scald on um what Alright, come on, hurry up. Oh, wide guard, okay. Thunder? <laughs> well, I don't think wide guard's really gonna help here. Direct, oh, okay. Alright, I guess I'm gonna about the half. That had a weird sound effect. That sounded weird to me. That sounded weird to anyone else? Okay. So... Um... Let's see here. I'm gonna use Wild Charge on Rayquaza. And I'm gonna use discharge this turn. See what he does. Heal, wait, heal Paul. Oh, I guess he's trying to heal the Quasar. Alright, uh, Sculpt Absorb. And there's Discharge on the Wave. And he starts to burn, so there you go. The strategy is working way better than last time. I can already tell you guys that. Alright. Pick something already. Um, I thought I was supposed to transform into something. Should not have that set up. Okay, I don't know why he didn't have that set up, but he didn't. Alright, so, I'm gonna use Dig on the light. And do Signal Beam on Zora. Okay. Oh, no. okay. Oh no. Oh great. Jilteon's dead. And nothing. Okay. Okay. 
that's a decent. Wait. Oh. Citrus berry, okay. Alright, the lid's gonna be taken out any, any second now for the burn. Uh, okay. Doesn't quite go how I figured it would. Alright, is it Kangaskhan? Well, I guess it doesn't, it doesn't go as big as I was, because I mean, never, none of my battles are the colors I figured. Alright, go drop punch. And. Thunderbolt. Alright. So, sorry guys, I haven't done a video in a while. I've been kind of busy recently. Also, I sprained my wrist, which is another reason I haven't done much of anything. Okay. Things come that they're both. Okay. Power up punch. And we should take out the rock. Oh, but I'm, it's only gonna hit once. Okay. I'm gonna use it a couple more times. Rock two. Oh, okay, that thing's dead. And yep, that goes void. So the only one left standing on this I think this time was Kangaskhan. Alright, so I'm putting out Sneasel and he throws out Wolverine. Okay. And Talon Fun. Right. So okay. I'm going to use Power Up Punch one more time before I um, use Psych Up with Sneasel. So I'm just going to go for um, Poison Jab on Talon Flame and um, Power Up Punch on Wolverine. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I just slipped my mind for a few seconds. Oh, okay. Stealing on Sneasel. Shoot. Poison jab. Poison, poison, poison. Nope. Alright, there we go. Really? That's a berry? You know, now I kind of wish I still had Galvantula. It's an unnerve ability. could stop him from eating berries at all. Ooh, it? That did nothing to Sneasel. Wait, I think he dodged. Okay. So now I'm going to start attacking him. Just normally. So I'm going to use Outrage of Kangaskhan. And I'm going to use Psych Up to Sneasel. I thought that oh, was a great. Okay. Ooh, cool, barely. Alright, let's get psych up for the now. Outrage. Wow, okay. Here we go, take out Wolverine. And then can I sneak attack still? No, I'm just switching. Alright, I think this is the last Pokemon now, actually. This is working a lot better than it did last time. So... Guys, um, if you've been watching my Nuzlocke, thanks for doing that. Um, I can leave a link to it in the description. If you guys want to actually want to go watch episode one, now we're going to episode one. Uh, okay. So, why all of the ones seem like I have berries? Whoa, that's a <laughs> that's a sneeze while attacking a hexer. So not that much damage. That's how good the strategy actually is. The one shot it, it well actually it probably could have one shot it if it actually was well um 
they could actually have the max level stats, uh, like I would hope. So, um, so I know I take Ogre out, and it, he's fly. Okay, so Poison Jab on Hexorus, and next, there goes Hexorus. <laughs> Alright, and Ogre plus one, this in the air. Okay. Mm, I'm gonna use water spouts. Wait, does water spout hit the point? Oh, it's Town Clamps are fast as I'm with you. It's gonna be down by this time. Wait, this Town Clamps is the last Pokemon. I just realized that. Okay, and water spout. I'll definitely check it out. Alright, so. Guys, now you see how the strategy is actually supposed to work. So guys, in this part of the video, I show you what was or is supposed to happen. So, your starting Pokemon, Jolteon, and either, well, it can be more than just these two, but Lantern or Galvantula, any Pokemon I know is discharged pretty well, is supposed to be out first. Those two Pokemon are supposed to be just your starting team for sort of like a tanking strategy, like I said. So, what's supposed to happen is Jolteon is supposed to use any sort of attacking move, and it's a good idea to have it no last resort. So, it can use, say, Thunder, or something like that, whatever move is super effective at that point of time. And then, you can have Galvantula, or whatever Pokemon you have out. I'm just going to use Galvantula as a reference for... Um, either gaining invasiveness or I can use discharge right away. So after you gain invasiveness maybe three or four times, it's a good idea to use last resort after that. Um, Jolteon should be able to use last resort after that if you used it correctly. So next, after one of those Pokemon faints, or both, depending on what happens, um, the next good strategy, well hang on, so if, say Galvantula fades and not Jolteon, you could throw out, throw out your tanking Pokemon, which in this case I will use Kyogre as a reference. So Kyogre, after it does Primal Reversion, gets the ability, or possibly before, has the ability Drizzle, or I think it's Primordial Sea, after it does Primal Reversion. So after that it's constantly raining. You can use Thunder and it will never miss after that. So. Or, in the other case, where both of them faint, you can have your tanking Pokemon, which I use Kyogre as a reference, and um, your other sort of Pokemon, like Breloom. Breloom's kind of its own tank on its own, once you actually get it set up. What was supposed to happen in the video is, it has a Toxic Orb, and it has the ability Poison Heal. So it's supposed to do that, and it has Drain Punch. So... It's supposed to be a pretty annoying sort of healing Pokemon. So, if you can get this to work though, send me a video in the comments. And I can actually show you what in, show it in the next video if you guys want me to do that. And after that, say your Breloom faints. You can throw out Kangaskhan and then start up the Power Up Punch strategy. The best way to do this is to get four Power Up Punches, well, two Power Up Punch attacks and have it gain attack power four times. After that, throw out Sneasel and have him use Psych Up on the on Kangaskhan. That way they both get really good power. A good thing to do with Sneasel is, it doesn't matter what move it is, just find this, a move with Sneasel that has the most possible power, as po or yeah, the most possible attack power. So in this case, Sneasel may be able to use, let's see, uh, maybe Blizzard. I used Poison Jab because my Sneasel wasn't actually much of a high level. Yeah, I know, shocking. But, um, yeah. So that's how the strategy was supposed to work, or did work, I guess, in a way. But if you like this, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys.